so my last question here is about a point like, uh, um, let's say, a reflection I read about from Elon Musk. So when he was asked about longevity, he expressed kind of an interest in his disinterest in the idea in terms of how people will be responsive to innovation and new ideas. So in his opinion, older people tend to be more resistant to innovation, to new ideas and to, let's say, creativity and change. So a society where there are many old people will be a society with less innovation and less, more resistance to new uh, ideas. What's your response on this? Yeah, thank you for asking this. Um, unfortunately, I think this is a very uh, short-sighted take from Elon that's not uh, substantiated by actual data that I'll get into and has some uh, critical assumptions that are baked into it. And, you know, if I ever get the chance, I'd be happy to engage Elon in a <laughs> thoughtful dialogue about it. But just to address uh, some of it uh, right off the bat, uh, for example, you know, analyses have shown that on average, like, you know, most of the great inventions and breakthroughs that have happened throughout history came to those later in their life. So I think just part of the premise is incorrect. <laughs> you know, like data shows that, you know, people who are older can be very innovative. Um, now, maybe he's speaking more to like the average person in society and their reception to it. Maybe that's a slightly different question. But furthermore, here's the more important issue, I think. Even if Elon's assumption was true there, uh, why should we make the additional assumption that it would have anything to do with the number of years you've walked the earth rather than say a potential loss of neuroplasticity due to aging as it currently is, which is something that we would need to solve if we're successful in combating aging. Uh, so I actually think that even if it was true, that speaks to exactly the work that like, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a sample size of one, but for me, you know, lastly, I find the take just very depressing because I personally feel that with longer and healthier lifespans, people would have the chance to become uh, more wise, more curious, uh, and dare I say it, more compassionate and creative if they had all of their faculties uh, coupled with the experiences of time and the time to experience more wonders in the world. So like, I just imagine that as long as you're like you're healthy and not in pain and curious, you're going to be more inspired and be able to make more connections. Uh, like my example with Tesla before, right? Yeah, you know, uh, unintentional uh, connection there. Uh, to use Tesla to address Elon, I believe if Nikola Tesla had five more healthy years uh, and and his brain was functioning dandily who knows what he would have done. And that's just one person. I don't mean to pick, you know, pick one person. I think that apply that to every human being on the planet. So that's how I would engage Elon. I'd be happy to have a conversation about it. I, I just think it's uh, not a great take. <laughs> Sorry, Elon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's really interesting to think about uh, longevity uh, as it might change our definition of what's young, what's receptive to new ideas in terms of really like the healthy or the young uh, um, substrate, let's say, younger substrate might change radically the way we interact with the outside world and to the new generation. So I'm really uh, fascinated by this. Uh, I, I just thought of something random. Sorry if we were done sure. with the question, but this is a, a different, it's an analogy in the physical realm. I think I had mentioned earlier that I had studied and, and taught martial arts and yoga for many years, right? So one of the things that I've done there is study the, the softer styles, things like Tai Chi and Aikido versus the harder style, specifically because you don't lose those as quickly with age. If you're, if you're studying a hard, you know, Muay Thai or something like that, you're a devastating fighter for five years, but then you become crippled because you've done so much damage to your body, right? Where the, the softer styles are not like that. But still, as I'm getting older, again, I'm 44, when I'm doing my forms, when I'm practicing Tai Chi, I have to be much more careful because if I am lax with my form, if I do it incorrectly, I will hurt myself in a way that I would not have when I was younger. So a thought that I've had to myself, which is somewhat related to the earlier conversation is, wow, if I could now take this care that I've had to cultivate because I'm older, 
but then suddenly have the body of a 20 year old, what kind of fighter would I be then? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, so I think that's, that's interesting. So it totally makes sense. So yeah, it's interesting and very important also when we think about longevity to think about all the details and the change that might not be evident actually at the first glance that should, this could make to our organism and also to our uh, mind.